These are Darth Vader's lightsabers. We have the Revenge of the Sith Saber, the original Star Wars lightsaber, and the Empire Strikes Back Saber. Uh, one thing you may notice is that they're all very, very similar with black rubber grips, a black band around a silver barrel, and a black emitter shroud. Um, there's really just a little bit of variation on those themes. Let's start with the original one, the Star Wars lightsaber. It has some big switch assembly in what I would call the middle since the way the... actually not quite the middle, look at that. Because I would have said that's the middle. So it's 45 degrees off. Anyway, um, this one's got a bit of a frosted or matte emitter shroud. I'd say frosted with some interesting emitter in it. Bubble plus weird switch that does not move. And a C clip up here because, unlike most of the Jedi sabers, which we've seen, they hang them very low on the base, on the pommel. Vader holds his, clips his on the belt facing up. I don't know why. Um, there's some letters here. B over those two uh, sockets. E, S, and E. And I don't know the significance of that. I probably should, but I don't remember. Um, so anyway, that's the Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back Saber has much bigger grips. They go all the way to this black band. Oh, it's got a little rubber ring on it or something. The shroud is basically identical. Um, instead of just the two sockets, this one actually has a wire going between them and wires over those two as well as that one. Similar switch housing, um, but it doesn't have this switch. It has a bit of a more thing on there. And it's it's moved a little bit. As you can see, this one is the 45 degrees off. This one is center in the vertical, uh, what's it called? Symmetrical, I don't remember. The vertical bisector of the saber hilt. The emitter looks to be about the same. I don't know if you can even see in there. Minor, minor differences, but enough that as a completist, or near completist, I wanted to have it. Now, <clears throat> this is the Revenge of the Sith Saber. And the first thing I notice actually comparing the two is not that the shroud is gloss black here and matte here, but that it, this one is much narrower. Um, let's hope it comes off on the camera, but it, it's, it's a little bit narrower of a, of a saber hilt. Um, it's got the prequel style belt clip, again down towards the pommel rather than the clip up there. The switch housing, rather than being at what I would call the front of the shroud, the inside where the blade comes out, is behind the shroud. At this square thing, and I like these weird little designs. Um, Again, this one, like the Anakin Saber from Episode 3, has a feel of a custom machine device where these feel much more like, hey, let's just grab shit that's laying around and glue it on here until it looks cool. Um, one final Saber to look at here. This is the Episode 2 Attack of the Clones Anakin Saber Hilt. Are we out of focus? Um, I hope I haven't been out of focus the entire time. And as you may notice, this one looks like his Darth Vader sabers. Here is the Episode 3 Anakin. Again, for comparison, this one resembles, because it's supposed to be, the saber that Luke gets in Star Wars. But this one is very similar to the Darth Vader sabers with the angled shroud. It's a complete separate piece, um, although here it's chrome instead of black. Again, the switch, button, the switch housing is back around on the front side of the saber. Um, it's also got a little, I guess it's, it's just a wire. Some little greebles and doodads. Again, the grips. And the next thing to notice about this one, the first thing actually that I noticed about this one, I just got this one. 
uh, yesterday, the day before. This was the main mini saber hilt that I have been missing this whole time. Um, the thing that immediately struck me when I pulled it out is that it is tiny narrow compared to these. I mean, it's narrow compared to this episode 3 Vader, significantly narrower. Comparing it to one of these bigger um, original trilogy ones, it's, it's like half the diameter. It's tiny. Um, being that these are both the same scale, just under half scale of the full size prop replica, I'm going to guess the reason is that Hayden Christensen was younger and had a much smaller grip than David Prowse did, or even than he did a few years later when they did Revenge of the Sith. But other than that, I have no idea why. Can you see in there? There we go, you can kind of see the emitters in there. So, there we go. Um... Really quick again, Anakin's two saber styles. I find it interesting that they gave him a Darth Vader style hilt in Attack of the Clones when they knew they were going to have to go and change it to the Luke Skywalker style for Revenge of the Sith, but whatever. It was an interesting choice to make, too. When he became Darth Vader, all of his subsequent lightsabers had the original saber hilt design that he built as a Padawan. Anyway... Stay tuned for my final mini-saber review one of these days.